a passion and a livelihood. You can usually find Michael Bash covered in paint and insulation in different corners of Over the Rhine. He renovates dilapidated but historic buildings in Cincinnati and then turns around and rents them at a price the working class of Cincinnati can afford. He's even gone the extra mile, provided subsidized housing when approached. So when we're done with this, it'll be a small space, but it'll be affordable. Does property taxes going up motivate you at all to keep doing something like that for other people in your other units? Unfortunately, when the city raises property tax, um, it, it almost always means a raise in rents. She's a great tenant, one of my favorite tenants. So I am actually a bartender. We make a very, very minimal wage. When rent goes up and I'm still seeing the same amount of tips I was seeing, you know, two years ago, five years ago, and I've been doing it for almost 16 years, then it's gonna make it harder for me to afford any decent housing. The increase in rent is not going in my pocket. It's just helping to absorb some of the increase in property tax. Kristen Baker's job is to help finance affordable housing, and she's been fielding concern calls from all over, including someone whose property taxes increased 200 percent. It's really hard to find housing that meets that affordability standard of not spending more than 30 percent of your monthly income on your housing costs. It's going to continue to be an issue, and I think we in the housing sector are all very concerned about how this is going to impact more vulnerable folks in our region. Baker predicts we will see some fallout in three to nine months of how this shakes out for renters, meaning will we see a lot of people moving, being evicted, or having trouble finding affordable apartments? <laughs> Meanwhile, Bash continues to add value to Cincinnati by giving a facelift to Over the Rhine. Yet, he's unsure what he's getting in return. I think a lot of property owners, they would say, okay, um, if my value did go up, has the cost of doing government also gone up? Is my trash service coming twice a week? Are the police coming faster? A lot of people have gripes just to think that, like, what is the, the increase for? What we really need to do is get action out of Columbus because they control how property taxes are assessed and how they're collected and what our offices are able to do. So I went to State Senator Lewis Blessing to see if anything is being done about this in Columbus. While developers like Mike are out of luck when it comes to financial relief, renters and homeowners who are being priced out of their homes could have a lifeline. There's a policy proposal in the works. It's a law in effect in other states and has proven successful. It's called a property tax circuit breaker, much like an electrical circuit breaker preventing current overloads. This would reduce the load of property taxes. For example, a qualifying household would pay property taxes up to a threshold percentage based off their income. Instead of the homeowner or renter or whomever paying 100% of that, they might then be paying 70% of that and the state picks up the other 30. I think there could be broad bipartisan support for something like this. There's no bill yet, but a proposal is being drafted by Policy Matters Ohio as we speak. Until then, Mike remains passionate about Over the Rhine, but has no choice but to alter his business plan moving forward. Raising property tax makes somebody like me start to kind of look at the units they have and start to think like which units are undervalued. Cassie Arsenault, Local 12 News. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.